The man who breathed life into the concept of reusable rocket self-driving cars is back with another shocking announcement. Elon Musk's supercar company seems to have branched out and is working on manufacturing super-intelligent robots. Would this mean that, in the future, there's a possibility that robots might run the world? Are humans gonna lose the war against technology? Is Elon Musk mankind's savior, or is he an evil genius who might make our worst horrors come true? Stay tuned and you'll find everything out. Probably. But before we get into today's video, consider giving us a thumbs up and smashing that subscribe button so that we know you want to see more of this content on the channel. Without any further delay, let's get right in. It looks like Elon Musk's brainchild Tesla ain't busy enough building fully self-driving cars or luxury electric vehicles that have half-year wait lists for new buyers. Now, recently, Elon shed some light on the brilliant project that him and his team of skilled engineers have been working on, the Tesla Bot. This unexpected reveal came at the end of Tesla's AI Day presentation, with Musk providing a few details about the slightly creepy invention. He then announced that Tesla is holding a second AI Day on which it will release many cool updates. This includes the reveal of a Tesla bot prototype. The robot's appearance came after one and a half hour presentation by Musk detailing some of the artificial intelligence upgrades driving Tesla's electric vehicles. This includes the Dojo supercomputer, which helped to train cars to navigate city streets without human assistance. The human eye robot is called the Tesla bot, and it runs on the same AI used by Tesla's fleet of autonomous vehicles. However, a functioning version of the robot didn't make an appearance during Musk's reveal. Though a slightly bizarre dance by a performer dressed like a Tesla bot did. Maybe this was Elon's intention in maximizing marketing and publicity. Perhaps he just wanted to ensure that the newest AI technology from Tesla is viewed as something lighthearted as compared to what we've come to expect from science fiction movies that cast humanoid robots as unstable and dangerous. Musk even went out of his way to reassure people who have been raised on movies with killer bots that this would not be dangerous. He joked, it's intended to be friendly and navigate through a world built for humans. The bot stands at a 5 foot 8 inch height and is expected to weigh around 125 pounds. It's also designed to be built from lightweight materials. The robot's top speed will only be 5 miles per hour, and its lifting capacity with outstretched arms is only 10 pounds. However, it will be able to deadlift around 150 pounds. The humanoid robot will have hands like those of a human, a screen on its face for displaying useful information, and 40 electromechanical actuators. Its head will be kitted out with the autopilot cameras used by Tesla's vehicles to sense the environment. Internally, it'll be operating via Tesla's full self-driving computer. We're setting it such that it is at a mechanical level, a physical level, so that you can run away from it and most likely overpower it," Musk said. So, how exactly are these Tesla bots gonna help us out? Well, the Tesla bot is intended to automate repetitive tasks. It envisions creating a future in which physical work will be a choice, not a requirement. So, why is this new robot designed in a human form? The CEO himself gave an answer to this question. He said, It makes sense to put that in a humanoid form, Musk said in his presentation. Three whole slides detailed the robot's proposed specifications. Elon took special care in pointing out to the public that you could both outrun the Tesla bot and overpower it. In the past, he'd argued against the use of robots as weapons and warned of the risks that AI might pose. He once called it the biggest risk we face as a civilization. In, in my opinion, it is, it is the biggest risk that we face as a civilization is artificial intelligence. But if the robots built by the company are incredibly slow and easy to overpower, then those dangers are reduced. Musk reiterated the fears again during a question and answer session after the presentation. We should be worried about AI. What we're trying to do here at Tesla is make useful AI that people love and is unequivocally good. Musk even provided an example and also suggested the robot could be told to go to the store and get the following groceries. How cool would it be if your robot could just beep boop go shop for groceries upon command? Since the robot is intended to be friendly and navigate a world built for humans, it makes perfect sense for it to be in a human form. The Tesla bots are out of this world. <laughs> it literally is. Its applications extend beyond Earth to colonizing the next planet that Elon wants to call home. Musk plans include getting these humanoid robots to work hand in hand with humans. He has put 2026 as his personal deadline to get a human colony on Mars. And despite the red planets having a really hostile environment, the pressure on Elon's shoulder will be shared by the Tesla bots. Making Mars human friendly is something that we couldn't even dream of. But with the Tesla bots coming into action, Robots can be sent into space without having to worry for their safety. 
They can also be left on Mars for years without needing for a return trip. Tesla bots can be designed to withstand harsh conditions, like extreme temperatures or high level of radiation. They can be used to do things that would be just too risky or impossible for astronauts. Before humans are sent to Mars, Tesla bot could be sent ahead and used to build shelters and prepare for the landing of humans on Mars. These fully autonomous robots can set up structures, power sources, and help to set up the Starship. Musk also made a few bold statements about how he envisions Tesla changing the future of work too. This, I think, will be quite profound, he said. Essentially, in the future, physical work will be a choice. If you want to do it, you can, but you won't need to do it. Musk also framed it as a logical step for the innovative car company. Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are semi-sentient robots on wheels, Musk said. With the full self-driving computer, the interface engine on the car, which will keep evolving now, obviously, neural nets, recognizing the world, and understanding how to navigate through the world, it kind of makes sense to put that into a humanoid form. He confirmed that he would focus on enhancing the Tesla bot's intelligence and solving the problem of large-scale production. However, it would be interesting to see if investors agree that this is a logical next step. Either way, it seems to be coming. I mean, the Tesla bot will be real, Musk said at a company AI event. We think we'll probably have a prototype next year. As an ode to this promise, Elon Musk pushed back the carmaker's annual technology day by six weeks to the end of September. He also cited hopes that the Tesla bot project will be finished by that point. This year's technology day will focus on artificial intelligence. Tesla AI day has been pushed to September 30, as we may have an Optimus prototype operational by then, he tweeted. He then added that the event was going to be epic. Initially, the event was scheduled for August 19th, almost a year after Musk hosted the first tech day dedicated to artificial intelligence. However, Musk scared investors during a Tesla product roadmap update when he delayed the launch of the Cybertruck to instead focus his attention on the robot. As you well know, Cybertruck is a battery electric light duty truck that was announced by Tesla in 2019. People have no idea, he said during an interview with the TED conference head Chris Anderson in April. This is going to be bigger than the car. Uh, specialized actuators and sensors that are needed for a humanoid robot. People have no idea. This is, this is going to be bigger than the car. <laughs> Although Tesla's automotive business contributed $16.9 billion in revenue and is running successfully, the reason for shareholder concern is Musk's own track record of repeatedly over-promising, under-delivering. It seems as though he loses interest in one project to just switch on focus over to the next. He's unveiled multiple working prototypes, such as the semi-trunk and the Roadster Coup, in addition to the Cybertruck, but none of them have been brought to series production. Just like that, several of Musk's elaborate plans have seemed to gone nowhere. It's just a bunch of empty promises so far. I mean, not exclusively, but you get the point. It's not just Tesla that's missing its own deadlines, though. The Vegas Loop Tunnel by the Boring Company and Human Trials for his Neuralink Company all remain just futuristic ideas. There's a huge gap between showing off a few slides on a screen and presenting an actual, functioning humanoid robot. With Musk's history of underperforming, it looks like we're gonna have to wait a while for the Tesla bot to deliver our milk and our eggs. However, we should remain hopeful. Maybe this time, Musk will do it. Maybe he'll wow us with his innovations coming to life. So, what do you think of today's video? Do you think that Musk can keep up with his promises? Will our future consist of humanoids assisting us? Let us know in the comments section down below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll be back with a new video, and until then, uh, yeah, later.